place. Yeah, there's a doll on the chair in Lillian's place. That was there when Lillian was in here. The doll on the chair? Lillian mm -hmm. was sitting on the chair, I thought. You think Lillian was on the left chair there, the one that's empty? Hmm. All right, we'll, we'll see if she comes back. Yeah. She's not going to come back while I'm in here, though. Nope. Hi, I'm Ganaridi. looking... What? what are you talking about? Leave me alone. Petting a dog. What, were you looking for Lillian? No. In, in particular, or were we just looking for anybody? No, I'm just looking. We're just, just investigating. Just all investigating. Right, all right, all right, all right, you know. That's how, that's how you do in this game. You investigate a lot, see what's changed, talk to characters, and make connections. And that is how you play the Colonel's Bequest. The third grade story by Pushing Up Roses. So, ooh, maybe I can elevator one more time. I'm so excited! Wow, that's really excited. <laughs> elevator one more time. Sure, I guess. Okay. okay, okay. Where are you gonna go? The attic. I want to see if anything we found. Since we found the um. The footprint. I just want to see if anything has changed with the trunk. Again, the colonel is not there. He's never there when we use the elevator. Mm -hmm. That's a little strange. Maybe he hears it coming and he's like, oh, no. <laughs> and Why? Of, I don't know. They'll PTSD. cut you and I, Fifi. Yeah. I don't think this is actually going to make any difference, but. I, I yeah, can't imagine. Yeah, I think I, I think I needed to actually get to the. I don't know if I needed to get to the attic sooner than that, but I thought I was doing a pretty good job. Cause I was wrong. Yeah, yeah. Well, let's continue to look around. Let's. Uh, ooh, I know. We'll do my favorite thing in the whole wide world to do in the game. Mm -hmm. And that is look in the waste basket. Damn it, look in basket. Haha, -ha. I told you that I told you I told you this would come in here. I told you this would work. I know, you did. You did many, many times. <laughs> <laughs> A small empty bottle has been thrown into the waste basket. Waste not, want not. After retrieving the small bottle from the wastebasket, you read its label. It says, Dr. Milliken's Miracle Sleep Powder. With Dr. Milliken's, you can be sure your dreams will be sweet tonight. So all those people weren't actually dead. Oh, oh God. Upon further inspection of the label, you notice some very small print at the bottom. Though you try to read out the small print, you can't quite make it out. Giving up, you put the bottle back in the wastebasket. Hey, well, Laura, please. I told you that she needed glasses. Ugh. We have a monocle. Oh, I guess so. There we go. You read the small print on the sleeping powder bottle through the monocle. It says, can be fatal if taken in too large a dose. Oh, oh, oh. I yeah, get it. What'd you get? You fall asleep. Yeah, like <laughs> forever. Well, somebody's you. Ooh. There she is. There's Lillian. I found her. Hang on, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna ask Lillian about L Rudy and see if I can get the secret. Lillian, what's? Well, tell me about Rudy. I need a perfect game here. Oh. Not now. I have something to do first. I gotta sit on this bed glamorously. I know we're sharing a room, Laura, but I would like to be alone for a little while. I need to do something privately. I realize it's getting late. I only need the room alone for a little while. I promise I'll hurry. Okay. All right, Lillian. Who's that kind of girl? Please get out of here. I've got to... Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, I got, you know. <laughs> you know? Oh, wow. Oh, she's having a geez. meltdown. She's going on and on and on. Wow, yeah. She doesn't like anybody now. She's having a bit of a meltdown right now, but when you're a good friend, what do good friends do? 
spy. Damn straight they do. Especially if the uh, friend's about to do what Lillian's about to do, which is open the luggage. <laughs> you are correct in that assumption. Kind of. Yeah. Lillian is writing in a book, which she apparently keeps locked in her suitcase. That's it? No, look again. <laughs> That's it? <laughs> Damn it. It's so private. Oh, what a private moment. Really? You needed to be alone to do that? Screw you, Lillian. Look at these holes. Mm. He's writing too! This is the writing hour. Approaching 1 a.m., you know? Yep, Act 7. Maybe he'll write out loud. Clarence is writing at his desk. They're just both writing! How unexciting. You know what? I'm gonna go. What? How did that. What's that? What's what? Look on the floor. Oh, hmm. We were in here. Yeah, while you were looking through there, Somebody someone's just threw like, something. Ugh, here's the thing. You notice a dusty boot print on the floor. All right, so we got a ghost leaving footprints, apparently. You examine it with the monocle, but don't see anything interesting. Oh, well, hang on. Maybe I did that wrong. Okay. I believe you, game. I think. Maybe I have to specifically say boot print. Um, uh, I give up. I quit. <laughs> Jeez. Let's see if Lillian's done. She is done. What? She's done writing. Hmm. Gonna open that up. You notice a diary lying atop Lillian's clothes. Wonder why she let it just stay out like that. I just took her diary. Let's read it. Upon opening the diary, you casually notice an ink stained fingerprint inside the front cover. Curiously and a bit guiltily, you scan through the rest of the diary's pages. Nothing much captures your interest until you come to the latest entry. It reads. I killed everyone. No, no. I'm so terribly upset. I can't believe Uncle Henry would do this to me. I thought I was like a daughter to him, and now I find out I'm no more important than any of those other creeps. They can't get away with it, you know? They just can't. Between you and me, diary, you know they have to go. Welp. Because of what all they did to me, I know they were all in it together to have me put away in that house. That was never crazy. They just wanted me out of the picture. Now they have to. That's it. That's it. The pa no, that's me. Back, back <laughs> to me now. <laughs> the passage ends abruptly. Hmm. Well, I could... Okay. Well, I think that's pretty incriminating. It is. And that kind of shows that Lillian is um, maybe a little crackers. Has some kind of psychiatric problem. What is with this dollhouse? I... Thought there was something about it, but I guess I'm wrong on that one. Dollhouse in the wastebasket. You gotta check it every time the clock moves. It would have been cool if, like, every time you checked the dollhouse, there were little figurines in there or something. I don't know. What about the wastebasket? <laughs> we already found the bottle in the wastebasket. What if there's it's another done. bottle? No, there's not. What if not. there's, like, a syringe or a giant fish? There's not. There could be a turtle. I don't know. Um... What's in here? Nothing. Nothing. And I'm very confused by that. Very the confused. The glasses are gone, too, from the cognac. So they are. That's, uh... I, uh... Oh, no. A strange white powder had collected in the bottom of the cognac decanter. Ah, someone else is dead. I think they're actually dead, and we missed it. And the, yeah. the body's already cleared. Well... No, that can't be right. That can't be. That can't. No. No, Sarah, don't. Don't do this. Don't do this game. No. That can't be. Could be. I'm... Can I restore? You mind if I restore? Why? Where? When? I don't know. Why? Because I didn't get... I didn't see the bodies. What bodies? Fifi and Jeeves. Oh, you think they're in here? I think they're dead. Okay. 
we are back because I missed an, a death that I, I find to be important because I triggered a an act too early. But now we're back. And now hopefully... There it is. Hopefully. You're hoping to see death. <gasps> what is happening around here? You have discovered poor Fifi and Jeeves lying down on the floor with their drinks spilled nearby. You don't like the looks of this at all. Oh, and they were on a date. Yeah. On a date. Well, Not search the body. Fair. You thoroughly examine Jeeves and Fifi's body, but you cannot see how they might have died. You are very puzzled. Except we, you know, the the sleeping powder. Yeah, you know. Maybe they're not roses. A lovely bouquet of flowers lies on the table next to the cognac decanter. So sad. I'm going to see if there's fingerprints on it. There is. Bending over the cognac decanter, you carefully examine it with the monocle. Yes, here are two clear fingerprints. Or two gray pubic hairs. Ugh, ugh. No, I don't think they're old enough for that. Still young and in their prime. Well, it could have been the killer. Alright, so. They, uh... Oh, are, oh, I see. Are you uh, insinuating that it is the colonel? Ah, that's my request. Here we go. Here's Act 7. So I'm going to save my game right here. <laughs> we'll just go ahead and replace <laughs> conservative gal. Yeah. Replace it with saucy gal. Or that... We'll tr go ahead and trigger these. Uh... I mean, I know she's going to do something private, so it's it's fine. So let's go spy on her while she writes privately. Such private writing. Yeah, you don't know what she's writing about. It could be something saucy. But again, look. Nothing on the floor. We look through the holes. Let's get this saucy action of her writing again. And then these. Nothing on the floor. Nothing there. We look through the holes. So while we were looking at Clarence, writing mm -hmm. at his desk, it looks really just like he's jabbing his pen into his paper over and over again. <laughs> blot, blot, while blot. we did that, there's a footprints, really? I, you know, I guess maybe somebody was coming in there and then noticed you were already in there. And they're like, oh crap, I'm out of here. Look print. A look print? Hang on, look. Uh, floor. A dusty boot print. So it's a, it's, the, oh, okay. So it's just out of dust. I, can I take it? Can I take the boot print? <laughs> <laughs> Need that. Take the dust. You can't get a boot print. Oh, the game is so flabbergasted. Why do I keep you? spelling examine wrong every single time? X, main. All right. We just know that there is a a boot print. I'm going to go check out the other armoire, too. Maybe there's suddenly... Nope, nothing in here. Well, let's check on the, check on the colonel. You see the colonel sitting alone in his room. And there he is. Kind of hanging that was out. What that was. That, that's, that's all. Yep. That, that happened. So I'm going to go steal uh, Lillian's diary again before I forget. I won't go look in the dollhouse this time, I promise. <laughs> you look at the wastebasket. We, we already did that. It was a new act. New stuff appears. Alright. Let's <laughs> read it. <laughs> It's true. Okay, that's just her diary entry. <laughs> what could this all mean? I, I'm still curious as to why exactly we were invited here. I don't even know. You I know? guess it could, like, berate you. 
Lamp Colonel's uh, still here. Smoking away. Yep. Can't get through. Okay. Maybe Wilbur's magically reappear. Okay, I've never seen that before. Mm. <laughs> I have never found Clarence in here. <laughs> this is new to me. <laughs> That, that scared me a little bit, like legit. This is horrendous. Now it's Clarence. Someone has killed him by stabbing him in the chest with a dagger. Is there only a way to flee this terror? How did this happen? The colonel is in the other room. Because the colonel did it. Okay. It's readily apparent that Clarence was mortally stabbed in the chest with a sharp dagger. Search his body. Sure will. Hey, a pearl-handed dagger is stuck in Clarence's chest. Uh-huh. Which, there was a pearl-handed dagger in the cabinet downstairs. Shaking terribly, you search Clarence's body and establish that he did indeed die by a stab wound to the chest. Upon further searching, you discover a pack of matches in Clarence's coat pocket. Thinking it might come in handy, you take it with you. Yeah, that way maybe we won't fall down the dinosaur skeleton. I maybe should just alert the colonel that, you know... Hey, there's a guy, like, 20 feet away from you who's dead. I know we missed a few things, but that's okay. Stop meddling in my attorney's affairs! Well, if he's dead and he was writing just then, maybe he left something in the room for us to examine. Unfinished thoughts. Unfinished thoughts. Uh, this is the tomb, actually. Nicholas Cage is in here somewhere. <laughs> Whoa. No, wait, that's Keanu Reeves. Doesn't Nicholas Cage do that too? Does he isn't he like I'm Whoa. sure he does. <laughs> Similar bland acting. <laughs> you have entered a cold, dark tomb. From moonlight shining in through a stained glass window, you can make out four vaults in the wall and a stone sarcophagus on the floor. Each vault has a nameplate above it. The tomb door is barred on this side. So we can't get out that way. But we can open these. 